Well, hello and welcome to Carlin's Creations in the US. I'm Laura. I'm going to show you how to make this coffee filter ephemera pouch with found objects and also how to make them just with the objects and pieces of scraps and different cutouts that you have in your stash. So you start with a plain coffee filter and then you add book page and a dolly or whatever you have on top. You don't have to use a book page. This is just how I did it. I sometimes ink the edges, sometimes I don't. I just glue them down with whatever glue I have. I like to use tacky glue. Then you can add other things that you might want. A stamp, just a piece of scrap. You could use some sticker fabric. And then you add your items. I inked the edges of all of these. These were puzzle pieces I found. And this little butterfly that I found. And this little party. I don't know what you call that. Anyway, I like to go on walks and look for treasures. So I find all kinds of interesting things and if I feel like they need it I wash them most of the time they do I just rub them off in the sink with some soap and water and then I put them together with whatever I'm working on and then I sew the edges with my little sewing machine that I use just for paper projects. So that is a little more about how that's made. And this is not an original idea. I've seen other crafters do this. Specifically, Treasure Books comes to mind. She has so many interesting, amazing, creative ideas. And others have done this as well. I can't recall at this time the name of the channels, but it's certainly not my original idea. This is just my little spin on it. I thought I would share in case you might get some new ideas about how to use your old coffee filters. This is a bunch of coffee filters that don't go with our current coffee pot. So rather than throw them out, these little pockets will wind up in my legacy books. And what I like to put in them is pictures, since I use my legacy books as scrapbooks now. They document my life and the life of my family the way that my scrapbooks used to. And it's a much more interactive and current way to to journal. For me, I find it is. And so there we go. I just thought I would share a little bit more of the process there. Have a good day. Bye.